Let's bring in Sami Nada. He is the uh, director of the Levant Institute for Strategic Affairs. Good to see you, Sami. Tell us, what do you think uh, Benny Gantz's plan is here? The White House, uh, then 10 Downing Street, uh, then what exactly? Uh, I think that uh, if it's, uh, this visit uh, or this invitation signals anything, it signals uh, how much strained the relationship between uh, Washington and uh, uh, Tel Aviv, uh, at least for, for, for two reasons. There are the strategic political reasons uh, uh, from a Washington perspective. Israel is by the day turning from a strategic partner to a strategic uh, burden. And actually it is isolated its behavior on the ground, uh, it's isolating uh, the United States on the international scene. And this is uh, one dimension. The other dimension that has to be taken into consideration, uh, this uh, pertains to uh, Mr. Uh, Biden electoral campaign. And uh, uh, the Gaza issue is becoming a very pressuring issue. I mean, we still have in mind the visit the, uh, the president uh, made to uh, Michigan, which is a swinging state, and uh, uh, how much the, the left wing of the Democrat Party is uh, uncommitted, mm -hmm. uh, or the list of uncommitted uh, uh, voters uh, in Michigan and in the Arab uh, or uh, Ar the Arab American uh, that are very who are very angered from. Uh, his uh, stand being incapable of securing at least a ceasefire in Gaza. Mm -hmm. So uh, the the situation is is the relation is very uh, strained, and uh, this uh, visit of Gans or the uh, Gans invitation is uh, a message to Netanyahu mm -hmm. first mm -hmm. that they uh, they are not. Uh, backing him up in his uh, policy. Uh, first of all, uh, th this uh, uh, operation, the military operation inside Gaza uh, has to stop okay. or at least uh, uh, change in, uh, in the way they are waging it. Sami, you say uh, Netanyahu Israel are becoming, are going from, uh, to quote you, a strategic partner to a strategic burden, but they could stop that any time, couldn't they? They could just stop their funding to Israel at any time, even th this, th these words there, these calls for a ceasefire there by Kamala Harris, uh, they could stop this any time. They could turn things around at any time. Yeah. Yes, I mean, they can stop the uh, military uh, aid, but the fact is that uh, this will reverberate on uh, uh, other uh, priorities, namely the war uh, taking place in Ukraine. This is a bipartisan uh, issue, the support of Israel uh, inside America, especially in electoral time. Uh, Biden uh, as well could not uh, look like uh, he's, uh, he's offering Iran a victory because up to now uh, the, uh, Washington uh, did not pronounce the terms uh, uh, ceasefire. They are talking uh, about uh, of a truce uh, which is different from a ceasefire uh, because a ceasefire would allow from their perspective Hamas to get out as victorious and uh, Iran to uh, uh, reap the the benefit of uh, this uh, war. This is why this is a, a very delicate uh, uh, issue. Uh, but uh, definitely, uh, the, the the relation is was uh, between uh, Biden and uh, Netanyahu is uh, is very uh, strained. Mm -hmm. And all the more that to, to get out of the crisis, both parties have to at least agree on the day after. Up to now, Netanyahu is closing all doors uh, for any possibility of a Palestinian state. And this is a complicating the matter, complicating the matter for uh, uh, the West and the rest, and especially for the Arab community, because they need to offer or to, to the, the Palestinian people a sort of a, a, a solution. And this solution has to 
offer uh, at the end of the day a Palestinian state, a Palestinian uh, uh, autonomy, uh, an autonom autonomy for the Palestinian uh, people. And up to now, uh, Netanyahu is closing all uh, doors uh, for this matter. So uh, okay. uh, it's difficult to see what what could be an exit strategy from uh, a Netanyahu uh, perspective, unless he's betting on mm -hmm. uh, a transfer of the Palestinian uh, uh, population. And one has to keep in mind and that the objectives that have been stated by uh, Israel since day one, are uh, none of them has been achieved, nor, neither the, the, the hostage release, uh, nor the destroying the capability uh, of Hamas. And it's not sure that uh, Hamas uh, will be uh, can be rooted out of uh, Gaza even mm -hmm. as uh, uh, a political entity because it's still enjoying a support uh, among the Palestinian people. Sami, you make a very good point. None of those objectives have been met and it is day 151 of Israel's war on Gaza. Thank you so much for speaking to us. Uh, Sami Nader from the Levant uh, Institute for Strategic Affairs. Thank you. Appreciate it.